So the topic of today's video is the quadratic formula. And our objective is I can solve quad quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. So quick review. These two equations we should be able to either factor or solve using our square roots. So this first one we have our two x's so we should be able to factor. First we need to subtract three from both sides. We get x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. If we factor this, we get x minus 3, x, well, x plus 3, sorry, x minus 1 equals 0. Set both of these equal to 0, we get x plus 3 equals 0. Subtract 3 on both sides, x equals negative 3. Set x minus 1 equal to 0. Add 1. We get x equals 1. The second one, we only have our x squared term. So we divide by 3. Divide by 3. We get x squared equal to 4. Take the square root on both sides. And x equals plus or minus 2. Now what do we do when we cannot factor an equation? When we can't factor an equation, we use what's called the quadratic formula. And the solutions of the quadratic of a quadratic equation, a x squared plus bx plus c, are x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And to help us remember that, we're going to watch a little video. Hopefully you'll stick in your mind and you'll be able to remember it. So, now that we've seen that, hopefully you've got that stuck in your head and you'll be able to remember that if you ever need to remember the quadratic formula. So now we're going to do a few examples. Again, our quadratic equation is right up here, quadratic formula. And a reminder, you must start in standard form. So we need to have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero before we start. And then our first step is to label a, b, and c. So if we do that here, this x squared, if there's no number out in front of it, it's just a one. That is our a. b is five, and c is our negative six. Once we have that, we plug in our values into our formula. So we have x equals negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 6. And this is all over 2 times 1. So if we combine everything that's under the radical, that's what we do first in our order of operations. We get x equal to negative 5 plus or minus we get 
negative 5 plus or minus 25 minus negative 24 over 2. That is going to be equal to negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 49 over 2. And the square root of 49 is 7, so we have negative 5 plus or minus 7 over 2. So this plus or minus tells us that we're going to have two answers for this. We're going to have an uh, answer for 5, or negative 5 plus 7 over 2, and negative 5 minus 7 over 2. So negative 5 plus 7 is positive 2 divided by 2 is 1. Negative 5 minus 7 gives us negative 12 over 2, which is equal to negative 6. So x equals 1, 6. Oh, I mean negative 6. Okay, so for this next one, we're not in standard form yet. So our first step is to add this 5 over. We get negative 3, um, negative 3x squared plus x plus 5 equals 0. Plug our values into the equation. We have x equals negative 1, so our b is 1, plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times negative 3 times 5 all over 2 times negative 3. So x equals negative 1 plus or minus uh, the square root of 61 if we do all the math under the radical and that is all over negative 6 so we're going to have negative 1 plus the square root of 61 over negative 6 negative 1 minus the square root of 61 all over negative 6. So if we do that math, we get the plus the square root to equal approximately uh, negative 1.47. If we round to the nearest hundredth, and the second one, take negative 1 minus the square root of 61 and divide it by negative 6, we're going to get positive 1.47. We, for negative 1 plus the square root of 61, this comes out to give us negative 1.13. And negative 1 minus the square root of 61 will come out to give us negative 1.47. So those are our two solutions couple more examples. x squared plus 3x equals 8. Again, we need to have this in standard form first. So we subtract 8. Gives us x squared plus 3x minus 8 equals 0. Set everything equal to x. Negative 3 plus or minus 8 
plus or minus square root of 3 squared squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 8 all over 2 times 1. So x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 41 over 2. So if we have negative 3 plus the square root of 41 over 2, and negative 3 minus the square root of 41 over 2 x equals x equals so for negative 3 plus the square root of 41 all over 2 we're going to get 1 point seven zero for negative 3 minus the square root of 41 divided by 2, we are going to get x equals negative 4.70. So those are our two solutions for that one. Now the last one, again, we are not in standard form. Subtract 1. Plus 2x squared plus 8x minus 1 equal to zero. Plug in our values. Eight squared minus four times two times negative one all over two times two gives us negative eight plus or minus the square root of 72 over 4. So again, we'll have two answers. Negative 8 plus the square root of 72 over 4. And negative 8 minus the square root of 72 over 4. So for negative 8 plus 72, square root of 72 divided by 4, we're going to get approximately 0 0.12 and for negative 8 minus the square root of 72 over 4 we're going to get approximately 4.12 so here are our two solutions so a review the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times ac and that is all divided by 2a. And we must be in standard form to use the quadratic formula. In our steps, label a, b, and c, plug in the values, solve for x, round to the nearest hundredth. Make sure you go online, do your reflection, get those bonus points, ask any questions you might have. We'll see you in class tomorrow.